Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problems five in chapter four. This one looks a little bit difficult, but we can work on it together. There, I strongly suggest you to draw a picture and make sure you understand all the details. Uh, we can say, uh, first sentence to us must stop a 120 km per hour train in this uh, distance, 150 meter. So, to keep it from hitting a car on the track. So, from the first sentence, the initial velocity is given. Do you agree? The final velocity is given, zero, because it is stopped. And also, the displacement is given. And then, then we tell you the mass of the train. See, mass of the train is given. Ask you to find the force. So if you want to find the force, so far, we just have one equation. That is Newton's second law. In Newton's second law, the net force equals the mass times acceleration. See, the mass is given at zero. You need to find the acceleration. Agree? But what is acceleration? Don't worry. Look at the first line. In first line, we say we know initial velocity, we know final velocity, we know displacement. It's super easy for us to get acceleration, right? Acceleration, use this equation. The acceleration for this uh, initial velocity, final velocity, and uh, displacement is this one. And from this one, we can get the acceleration and then find the force. Then we find how much force we must uh, he must act on this uh, car. The next one, compare the weight of the train. How much force does the train act on a superman? So for this one, compare it with the weight of the train. So we need to find the weight of the train first. That is mg. So use this force divided by mg. We get the percentile of the train, right? The force is this uh, percentile of weight of the train. Then we are done. There, I must... Uh, uh, suggest you pay attention to the unit. You see, in the problems, it gives you the initial velocity unit is kilometer per hour. We must convert it to meter per second to solve these problems. Thank you.